Hey guys, I am back and I have a new goal. I'm going to try and create a new cloud mix recipe, but this time I want to do it using only decor products. And I have so many ideas popping in my brain. So let me show you what I'm going to be using today for my first experiment. So for the cloud mix recipe, satin enamels, this is the key ingredient to the cloud effect. You have to mix it with another round of paint. And this time I'm gonna try and create a mix using this DecoArt White Student Acrylic, a little bit of pouring medium, like usual, and then water. And the paints I'm gonna be using are these tube paints traditions. This one is Prussian Blue, Indian Yellow. And I'm gonna try already to pour in there, even though I doubt it's gonna work, but I, I don't know, I just have to try it and see what's gonna happen. Okay, so what do we know? We know that the satin enamels reacts way too much to just be used on its own. So you need another brand. The original Cloud Pour recipe, second brand, creates a lot of cells on its own easily, which is different from this one here. The other recipe is half-half. So how am I going to start here? I know that if I go half-half, honestly, I think I'm going to need more of this one. So let's say that what's there, that was here. God, I'm shaking. That was two parts. So let's go with like about three parts. Yeah. Eh, just a little bit more. I'm going to start with that. Okay, so now that those two are mixed in, um, mixed together properly, I'm just gonna add a little bit of parmium. This does not matter. Uh, about a tablespoon, give or take. Now, if you use Floetrol, um, I think you could use Floetrol instead of pouring medium. Um, I don't use it, so I can't 100% say, but I think it'll, it's gonna work. And then I'm gonna mix this thoroughly. Now, for those of you that like to Measure, this is a 10 ounce cup. I don't measure. So after mixing in the pouring medium, then I added water gradually, and this is what I'm getting. My cup is almost full, and it's pretty much cloud pour consistency. I can really feel the decorate satin enamels, the way it moves around. It's different than the other paints. This looks good to pour. Okay, so I'm going to be experimenting on a record. This can be done on a canvas. I just have so many and they're easy to wash off, so I like using them. Um, so what I do is I put just a little piece of painter's tape underneath before I pour. Now, empty cup. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. Super exciting. So to prepare the cup, two colors in first. Um, if you want your cloud pour to look good, like <laughs> I'm saying this in case it works, you want a huge contrasting color with the white. Okay, so there's so many factors today to analyze. Everything is different. The only thing that's the same from my usual is the satin enamels. So, from what I'm seeing here, it's not reacting as much as normal. So maybe, uh, maybe I had to put less of the student acrylic, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure actually. But we're gonna go with it. So two colors, cloud mix, two colors. I think this is gonna give a tree ring, you guys, without the cloud effect. So I'll try it once, and then if it doesn't work, I'll add more um, satin enamels. I'll keep a, a bit of yellow for the next pour. 
And yep, this I don't think this is gonna work like the normal cloud pour recipe. I can see it already. Usually the white spreads. Doesn't matter. I have too much paint. Oh, you can see it reacting in the bottle, in the, the cup, I mean. Oh, we have some clouds, people. Oh, it's so different already, I can see it. And I have way too much paint. I'm just gonna stop there. Okay, so I just added a tray underneath so I can, uh, I clearly have too much paint, but it doesn't matter. Totally lost the blue. But as I move it around, there are some little clouds popping up. The ready to pour really took over. It's not so bad. I'll just leave it like that for now and see what happens in time. Okay, so after making a mess with my white, saving most of it and cleaning up, I'm back. I'm looking at this and I want to see if I can stretch it out more. Usually it's by stretching it that the satin and more reacts. Yes, I have nails now. I've been on an art creation break and I started getting my nails done. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I love this side. Go and center it. I find it looks better. But, okay, it, it's looking really good, you guys. But it's not 100% the cloud that I'm used to. I'm gonna... I'm gonna remove the tape. For my second try, I have approximately half satin enamels and half student acrylic by Decoart in there. And instead of using the two bottles, I'm going for all ready to pour this time. Let's see um, how that works out. poor paint took over in the other one because it's not diluted so you know it's more concentrated so it, it's normal that it takes over but maybe if we use just that
Now, I know that videos are so much prettier when the person is pouring on a white or black background and everything is clean and perfect, but um, that's not the reality of my life. And <laughs> I'm gonna put a tray underneath, even though it looks ugly. There we go. That way, I don't spend my life cleaning. Um, th this is working out pretty well, you guys. Um, yeah, it's not exactly the same. It's not as cloudy. It looks more defined, but like maybe I'm just talking too fast here. It needs time to spread out. Let's see if I spread that. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be going too far here. It looks very, very different. I find than the other cloud mix, but not that different. Maybe I'm just being too hard on myself here. Okay, I'm just going to give this a bit of time and go wash my hands. Yep. Okay, so the pretty white background. Now this one, um, I'm really liking the top part there where I'm showing. I have a bit of trouble with the squiggly thin lines. I did use a ton of paint too much, but it's, it's like it's not so bad, you know? If you like green, it's kind of cool. Uh, I do prefer this one. <laughs> the thingamajigs are much bigger. Um, the overall is very cool in this one. I am going to be trying again with the ready to pour paints. Stay tuned for the dried result. back with the dried result in natural daylight. They dried really well. There's nothing to say really. Now let me show you my final result, what these look like after I resin them. My analysis of today's experiment is that the clouds are less cloudy than the original cloud pour recipe but the lines are much more defined. And this is by using equal parts of both DecoArt products. Um, I would really like to know which one of these two do you prefer? And stay tuned for my next experiment.